I have placed many videos on here, motorcycle repair, RV traveling, and campsite. Enjoy them. Thank you for watching. Well, today is uh, Christmas Eve 2016. As you can see where I'm at, I'm at Snake Harley Davison in Twin Falls, Idaho. I decided to do some work on my motorcycle, so I had them pick it up and bring it in here. Naturally, I didn't want to drive on this. Well, this is going to be a little story about what can happen if you don't have an oil cooler on your motorcycle. They were going to uh, just make mine a little bigger, it's 96 cubic inch up to uh, 103, which a lot of us with 96 cubic inch motors understand exactly uh, why I want to do this. There's just not enough power. Anyway, they've torn it apart, and I will show you what they found. Like I said, we're here in Harley Davidson. Snake Harley Davidson to be exact. This guy leading me is uh, called Drags. I don't know why. I've never asked. Drags everything. He does what? He drags his pigs around every turn he can. Well, I was hoping that was something nice. Anyway, here's my motorcycle. What we found, as uh, a lot of you have probably done, I got into some really hot places, Texas and Arizona, Texas in August, uh, some big cities when it was way too hot, over 100 degrees, naturally going through Sturges, sitting in traffic, and what has happened is, uh, why don't you just say what happened? What we got is the bike overheated. Uh, this is the rear cylinder connecting rod. Uh, these are bushings are pressed in and then the angles are cut at the factory if you run your fingers along here you can actually feel where it was misshapen uh, pushed out melted and then you can also see the scorch marks on the brass uh, the front one looks a lot better you're not feeling any rough edges where the bushings come out uh, but yeah that's a uh, Definitely a sign of overheating of the oil uh, and not getting the oil pressure it needed. Okay. So uh, that little piece right there, you can't just replace that bushing. you mm. got to replace this whole thing. The whole flywheel. And that ain't real cheap. Anyway, so we got a new flywheel in here and new, the new connecting rods waiting on the heads and the jugs to be uh, redone. Uh, there's my, uh, well, there was my oil cooler down there. <laughs> yeah, it's, we had to pull it off to get everything else off. Yep, yeah, so it's not there. It'll be reattached. But uh, I'm just showing you all this because that little oil cooler that used to be right there, that is a money-saving little device because these things run hot, especially your back cylinder. And uh, I know you all have fried your legs on the back of them. If your legs are getting that hot, I'm sure the motor is. So anyway, this is uh, its going to be bigger, better, and I appreciate uh, Snake Harley Davidson pointing that out to me rather than just slapping it together. I'm glad I didn't do it myself because I wouldn't have noticed it and I would have put it together and it would have probably grenaded at a very bad time. So I hope this helps you all.